hiyo ni kazi yangu kungangana na hiyo mtu na huyu kitenda wili historia yake ni mbaya ama mnaona nimekubalia nimekubalia akaribia rais sasa mimi naenda Colombia kutafuta soko ya kahawa alafu nipite Cuba lakini nimepanga hiyo ikulu nimeweka miteko kila kona kila kona kila pale kila kila pahali nimeweka na niko na watu wa kunipigia simu wakionekana tu karibu naambiwa kwa sababu uwezi mtu ameharibu serikali ine umkubalie akuja ya tano si ataharibu nimesikia watu yataita taveta mnalia mambo ya share si yenu iko kidogo na watu ya jubili this true mimi ndio mtu anapanga maneno ya shares kwa serikali ya wile mruto ninakuanga na ninakuanga naye hapa kwa mfuko rais akisema nataka tuangalie fulani nasema ngoja kidogo rais narudi kwa mfuko naangalia shares tunakubaliana we want you to be shareholders so we are going to open up the share market in 2027 nyinyi mkuja kwa soko mchukue ile hisa mnataka si iko namna hiyo tutafungua shares yetu in 2027 it will be open watu yatataveta mkuje mchukue zile shares zote mnataka tukimaliza uchaguzi nikuje tena na calculator niweke mawe mpya tuhesabu how do i help you my friend shares yenu hakuna there is nothing Huyu ni shemeji yangu najua mmeoa kwetu. Ningetaka kumsaidia but where do I start? Nitaanzia wapi? Wewe kamketi wewe rafiki yangu lakini ulikosea watu ya Ispokot. Ulichukua hiyo watu yote kuwapeleka azimio. Sasa kwa hizo serikali ya William Ruto you have nothing. Kubarie akuja ya tano. Si ataharibu? Juzi amekuja pale KICC nimemkaribisha vizuri. Simuliona? Kwa heshima kwa sababu yeye ni mzee wetu amekuja tumemwalika sasa kuliko aende ya ket kwa kiti yake anataka kuingia mara hizi pale wamekaa wale wamechaguliwa na hii mtu kuna mtu amemchagua sasa ile nyumba hata kipchumba huyu na waziri hawezi ingia ni mara hizi tupu wamekaa mara hizi wamejaa pale hadi anataka kuingia pale akae na mara hizi sasa tunauliza watu tunauliza huyu ni rais ya wapi lakini pale kwa hall tumempa kiti ya ya heshima hata alikuwa namba 4 kutoka kwangu nakaa pale kama mzee anasikiza maneno akikaa kaa usingizi ukisidi anangorota kidogo sasa kuenda una shida na huyo ni mzee wetu na nilimwambia siku hiyo tunataka tumchunge tunataka tumchunge tumpagie retirement yake tutafutie askari tutafutie gari nyumba ya kukaa akitaka pikipiki piki moja ama bili ya kumuongoza there is no problem kama iko makosa aende mnyumbani apumzike. Iko sasa hiyo miaka 80, sasa imezi ina miaka nasonga. Na mwili ni ule ule tu. Si ndio? So nyinyi mtukue na wasiwasi. Bishop mwenyewe amesema hapa good leadership is listening to the people. Listen to them because how do you unaongoza? Na ni muhimu ujue vile wanataka kuongozwa. Na uwasikize vile wanaona. Na watu si wadawazimu. Watu ni watu. And therefore I want to encourage leaders in the country. Please listen to the people. Bishop umemesa mzuri mimi nasemanga ukweli and many people have a problem with me. Because for a long time watu wengi wa serikali wamezoea kudanganya wananchi. Sasa watu wengi tuko nao kwa serikali hawajasoea hii maneno ya ukweli. Wanasoea maneno ya uongo. Sasa mimi nikiongea ukweli wanasema mimi naongea mbaya. Mimi Mungu anisaidie niendelee kuongea ukweli. Kwa sababu ukweli ndio wa kudumu. Tena watu wa Kenya wamerevuka sana. You can no longer cheat the people of Kenya. People of Kenya are very intelligent. They know everything. Hii mtandao imeletea imechanua watu zaidi wanaelewa kila kitu so the time for cheating kenyans is over so mimi nime align with the people of kenya mimi nasemanga ukweli mtupu kama ni, unipendi kwa sababu ya hiyo there is nothing i can do unisamee na mimi nataka niseme niambie president wetu uru kenyata tafadhali rais tunakuomba kwa heshima 
umebaki siku nane kuja hapa sagana state lodge na ukuja na makaton uchukue vitu yako utoke uende wachana na sisi wachana na sisi wewe rais umeita mkutano pale kicheha ukaita wazee hapo ukasema regadi kashagwa atajua wewe ni rais wa Kenya ukatisha Moses Kuria ukatisha Dede Nyoro ukatisha Kemani Ichongwa rais mimi nakuomba mimi regadi kashagwa nimekusaidia mwaka ishirini wewe nilikutoa kwa ba nikakuunda mpango kwa kuwa rais miaka hii yote nimekusaidia wewe umekuja kutuumiza umekuja umeniwekelea makesi ya uongo umekuja umeninyang'anya pesa yangu sasa baada ya kufanya hiyo yote unatisha mimi hata nitajua yeye ni rais wa Kenya mimi rais wa Uhuru Kenyatta na kuomba nikiwa hapa Nyeri usiue sisi vile baba yako aliua JM Karioki mimi nakuomba mimi nakuomba na rais kama lazima uue sisi utuue wiki hii hii watu watakuja kusika sisi ni nini unauliza sisi I want to talk to my elder brother and friend president Uhuru Kenyatta I have sent you a message through your emissary please if you want to talk to us because you don't want to pay taxes if you want to talk to us so that you can you don't return the money that you put abroad you don't have to cause violence through Laira Odinga. You can call us for an honest conversation. And then we can discuss whether you pay tax, whether you don't, how, nini, tunaweza kubaliana. But it's also good for me to tell you, as you finance violence, violence is unpredictable. Many times, it comes to consume the financiers. Those young people you are sending to loot property and paying them when they are through with rooting property for the small people and there is nothing remaining you know what they will do i'd like you to take time president Uru kenyatta and Odinga. you read the history on the french revolution of 1789 if you have time As the revolution was going on, the peasants decided that the bourgeoisie and the aristocracy should be beheaded. And they started beheading them. Along the way, people were getting impatient that the beheading was too slow and they were craving for blood. A man called Robespierre, to sort out that issue, created a machine called the guillotine and with that machine the protesters were able to behead people very quickly and as they beheaded more and more people they became impatient the machine was too slow they wanted a quicker machine to show their displeasure about the slowness of that machine they looked for robespierre and guillotined him you have heard me President William Ruto, if in our zeal to work, I have wronged you, please find it in your heart to forgive me. I want to say, if my spouse in our duties for the boy child and her program has wronged you in any way find it in your heart to forgive her <clears throat> to our members of parliament if in the course of duty through our utterances and actions we have in one way or another upset you all wronged you find it in your heart forgive me if our brothers who did not support the president and myself 
in the way my region and the river valley supported him. And probably you find that in appreciating our people and the support they give the president and I, probably our utterances made you feel uncomfortable. We did not mean bad. We were simply appreciating the people who voted for us. And if you feel that we rubbed you the wrong way, please find it in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> to the people of Kenya, in our service across the country, as we serve you, if there is anything we have done or said that you found unpalatable, that you found unacceptable, please find it in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> Finally, I want to say that Kenya is a country of the rule of law. I have faith in our courts of law. We have competent men and women in our judiciary who I believe will uphold the Constitution, protect it with their zeal, and so the problem, Senator Mandago, is a few leaders from this region who have proximity to the president. Diyo wanakoroka siyasa huko kwetu. Kudaganya watu watu waze kupanga mambo ya 2032. That is the problem there. Now let me tell you. Mi naomba watu ya bode la ufa. Tafadhali. Sisi tuliunga rais wato mkono kwa hiyari yetu na kwa kupenda. Na tunaendelea kumunga mkono. Tunaomba heshi makidogo. Musijaribu kutupangia siyasa ya mulima Kenya na kutupangia uongozi wa mulima Kenya. Nyinyi mupange siyasa yenu na uongozi wenu. Siku Rais William Ruto atastafu after 10 years. Sisi jatu taingilia vile munataka kupanga. Nyinyi mutapanga wenyewe. Siyasa ya huko kwetu wa muwezani na yu ningumu sana. Huko ya mulima. Ningumu sana. The politics of the mountain is so complicated, it can only be understood by the mountaineers. <laughs> what people of the valley cannot understand about the mountain. Because what you are doing is not going to be able to do What you are doing is not going to be able what you are doing is Let us lead us here a few, and there are few people who have proximity to the president. Wamefura, wamekuwa na kiburi mingi. Wanafikiria ati sasa, wamefika. Wanaweza kuja mulima, ati wapange viongozi ya mulima. Sisi ya tuwezi panga viongozi ya bode la ufa, lasi matuwe shimu njini. I want to ask my brother, my vice president William Ruto, to be cautious and do the right thing. Let's keep our house together. Let us not be disruptive. And let us not reintroduce the politics of betrayal. President William Ruto is the greatest beneficiary of the peoples of Mount Kenya distant for betrayal. Our people hate betrayal. And they are very unforgiving if you betray them. I ask my brother, President William Ruto, not to be tempted to go to that direction. Because these people will be very unforgiving. When there was an attempt to betray him, the people of this region said, no, we don't like betrayal. We don't entertain betrayal. And for that reason, the people of this region stood with him to a man to express their displeasure at betrayal. If the people of this region feel betrayed, as they will, if we go into that direction, these people will be very unforgiving. That's just my advice. It doesn't have to be taken. I've been around for a long time. Mimi nimekuwa hapo wakati ya Moi, nimekuwa hapo wakati ya Kebake, nimekuwa hapo wakati ya Uhuru, 
Sasa niko hapo mimi najua mambo mawili matatu. Sisi ndio tulipatia William Kura ile mingi zaidi. Yeye yeah, yeah, amekalia state house kwa sababu ya kura zetu. Iko ukweli ama uongo? Sisi naomba wale watu marafiki ya rais musidharau sisi watu ya mlima Kenya. Musituoneshe matapiko. Musituoneshe madharau. Sisi ndio tulimchagua William Ruto akakuwa rais wa Kenya. Ni sisi tulimchagua sio sisi. Kama mumechoka na sisi mkuja hapa kidorai mtuambie. Si ndio? Kama hamutaki sisi tena mkuja hapa kidorai mtuambie. Mtuambie hamuna haja na sisi.